Hi guys, welcome back to another video on Kerbal Space Program. This is Designs of the Week episode 15 and we have the bowling ball. So let me show you how it works. Now a subscriber actually requested me to make a ball which just spins like crazy. And this is somewhat what it does, but what you need, this is like a challenge where you need to get this bowling ball to go all the way at the end of the runway. Now there aren't any bowling pins. You could put bowling pins if you want which are the kerbals, so you could have kerbals down there in a bowling pin fashion <laughs> and run over them, but this bowling ball, I wouldn't say it's been very well made, I made it, but it's very difficult to use, and so what you do is, as soon as you you um, put onto the runway here, you got to power it on and then disconnect this back piece here with the Aerospike rocket engine, and then try and control your your bowling ball with RCS because it does have RCS inside. So let's try doing that. As you can see, it's swaying. Okay, okay. Is that gonna smash? No, no. I'm trying to turn. Oh great. Yep. All right. Yep. Nope. Wrong way. Uh, yeah, so, <clears throat> just keep on practicing. Like, let me do it again. There are, there's about like hundred and something parts on this. It is a lot of parts. So that, we do that, RCS on. Disconnect that, and then space bar for the separatrons. Yep, uh, okay. Ah, oh. damn it! So yeah, it really is hard getting it all the way down there. I haven't actually succeeded yet. I'll try one more time, then we'll go straight to the next design. All right. So I also have something else to discuss um, about the space program, and that is the game does get boring after a certain amount of time, right? And I do put out a lot of videos just on KSP. Uh, compared to most YouTubers, yeah, I just beat them all in just KSP alone. Um, yeah, I failed here again. And so I, I'm looking to play, like, another game. I was thinking about Minecraft. Maybe survival, maybe creative. I'm just tossing between creative or survival. But I was thinking I can show some quick designs on creative. And then on survival, I can create those designs or, like, adjust them slightly. So that way they're always unique. And I failed again. Damn it! But yeah, it is actually fun playing with this bowling ball. Tell you, I want to do it one more time. Let's see how it can go. Ooh, also, um, I want to play Sins of the Soul Empire Rebellion. If you haven't heard of it, it's like a space strategy game. I won't play it for too long actually because the game really gets boring. Like, I really get sick of it after a while. Shit, I've got RCS. What's up with the RCS? Turn on. Oh, they're wasted. What the heck? No. No. Cheats on. Cheats on. Come on. Then smash. Yeah. There we go. Okay, let's do it backwards. Come on. As long as we get, can get to the end of the runway, that's the main thing. Yep, 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 yep. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, you guys get the point of this. Try it out. Um, if you can get it down at the runway, well done. That's quite difficult to do. But yeah, maybe to increase your chances, you could fix up this bowling ball because it really, really is crappy. Yep. All right, next one. Now this design is called the four-way, and it does have an interesting feature show you. So, of course, you can control it. Right. And it is slightly, it's moving to the left hand side, but I'm just trying to adjust it so it can be 100% horizontal. Somewhat. So what you do is you press 1, the number 1 on the keyboard. Right, and you'd be going against your momentum that you created. You press 1 again, 
and these engines should start up. There we go. Yep, 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 yep. We're gonna smash. We're gonna smash the base, base. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> so yeah, in the action groups, I actually programmed it for everything to do opposite. So when these bottom engines are on, this one will turn off. Will will be off anyway. When you want to change it, so you want these ones to be off, these ones will be on. So it does opposite off, this one will be on, on, off, you know, yeah. Stuff like that. So I can press one and they'd all activate because I've put them to toggle and stuff. So yeah, they don't budge when they're activated unless we push them. Nope, that does nothing. Yep. Mm, okay, next to that. Now this is called a helicopter and I've been working on a few things and you'll see how this works. Essentially it just turns and because of the the way the wings are shaped or positioned, it does lift you up. So I just do that just to get myself away from the crappy launch tower, which I hate the most in the game. And then you press spacebar and that happens. <laughs> then you throttle down, press spacebar, the aerospike bike engines or rockets turn on, then you manually shut down the liquid fuel engine here to prevent it from going up. And so the helicopter is in action. And that happens, it always smashes. I'll go for the next one. Now this is an adjustment to the helicopter design as you can see. And what we do is we just press space bar. That big the throttle up. And that happens. It's pretty fast. In this case, the positioning of the Rocket Max engines are actually taking us up. And with the assistance of the wings, but it's not a major thing. So we can try the, the next one, which is Helicopter Mark 3. And Mark 3 has the Rocket Max engines like that, exactly horizontal, so that we know if the if it's the wings that are lifting up or the Rocket Max engines from before. There we go. Uh, it's better to have SAS on when you're doing this, and it, it is slightly hard to control. All right, let's just throttle up. Next bar, make sure you have SAS on, and that does lift up because of the wings. So it proves that they are useful. They do work, and smashes as usual. Okay. This design is called the SSTO Orbiter. So it's a single stage orbiter, and all you do is use the turbojet engine to get high up into the atmosphere, and then you disconnect that, and there is a small liquid fuel engine hiding in there. So it's very, very basic, and if you just follow the steps I have here, you should be all good. Alright, what we do now is move to the right hand side of the nav ball. And just stay there for a bit. Alright, now we move again, because we just reached 500 meters per second. And you stay right there, as such. Now the jet engine should stop working in a couple seconds time. Any time now. Now? Now, 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 now. Now. Ten minutes time. Now. Now. There we go. <laughs> Took a while. So yeah, we're going very fast, as you can see. So this is very, 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 very basic. Anyone can do this. Now the first time I tried this out, I didn't have any batteries or solar panels, so I actually ran out of electricity and lost control of this ship. Unfortunate, but true. Almost there. Just keeping an eye on everything. So I want to reach 2,400 meters per second. We should be in orbit. It won't be a perfect circle, but we can turn it into one. Check the battery. Yep, 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 all around. 
2,400. So yeah, we're in orbit now. Yeah, as long as it's like this, as long as this is far out, then you should be fine. Because all you have to do is fast forward up to that point, throttle up, and everything will even itself out. And we have a lot of fuel remaining. The music should play once we are in space. Because this is always music. There it is, we're in space. So now we can go times 10. Nope, times 50. Nice. Rongi ringi rose. And stop there. Excellent. Let's find the Epiwapsis. There it is. Come on. Come back here. Okay, we don't have RCS. Throttle up. Throttle up. And everything is good now. Perfect. And bang, that's a perfect circle. So that is a very simple way to orbit. It's very nice and cheap. We're in orbit. We can probably get to the moon if we wanted to. Who knows? I'm not going to try it out. But thanks for watching, guys. And see you next time.